Hey guys, today we are going to look at a card that has recently spiked in price. We'll talk about why this is the case. Gitaxin Probe. So if you compare this to Gitaxin Probe, the way people are playing this card, they are not playing it as a creature, not playing it as a free four swamp walker. No, they are just worried about that second line, which says cycle, cycling, pay to life. Uh, pay to life, discard this card, and draw a card. Now there is a card that was recently banned in Modern, Gitaxin Probe, and that card is significantly better. Uh, honestly, if you don't have life to pay, you can pay one blue, which is not five, to get the creature out, so it's easier to cast if you had to cast it using mana. Also, the fact that you get to look at your opponent's hand is extremely relevant. So two life, for to look at your opponent's hand as well as to draw that extra card. Also relevant is Gitaxin Probe is a sorcery. So that, help, that kind of is a little different from a creature. Now Living End helps this card a little bit because let's say that you are playing that deck, then in that deck, this is better than Gitaxin Probe. But most decks, Gitaxin Probe will always be better. So where are, what happened to the price? After the Taxion Probe was banned, it actually didn't go up until recently. And that's quite interesting when you think about how the modern meta is. This card was a common, a common in the original Modern Masters. So if you have, if you cracked any amount of booster packs or boxes back then, go look for this card because this is now a common that is worth six to seven dollars. Now, the other interesting part to know is. Okay, this card has spiked. It took a little bit of time to get there, but if you understood Gitaxin Probe and you understood this card, it makes a lot of sense why this card is spiking up in price. It's a replacement. So when a card is banned, this is also true in standard, and the deck still survives, the replacement cards go up a lot in price. Now, will this always be a 6 to $7 card? No. That seems like a lot to me, but definitely if you have bulk in Modern Masters or commons or just packs you've opened, this is one that you now want to move to your trade binder and get rid of as fast as possible. Again, great card. Uh, anytime you see a card, and this is always true, this is true for the expertise. So let me talk about expertise for a little bit. Long term, I do like them. Right now they are in standard, so they tend to have a more pricey tag. They have a higher price tag than they would if they rotated out. So now is not the time to buy lots of them. But whenever you have the ability to do something at no cost, you look at that card and you say to yourself, wow, that's a very good card. Even if the ability seems kind of dumb or not relevant, uh, anytime you have a free mechanic like Force of Will, you look at the card very closely because at some point in time when the meta, or like let's say the packs, pack of negation, you look at it and you're like, okay, this is pretty good. But all of the packs, the black pack, the red pack, the white pack, all of the packs have at some point increased in price because they don't cost anything. So this is a home run. And the expertise, which I will probably make in another video when it gets closer to rotation, that is highly interesting. Uh, not only because it's in a tier two deck that without the expertise, the decks wouldn't be possible to run, but it also does stuff for no cost. And as the cards get better and better in this game, doing stuff without costing anything, no matter what it is, is it expertise, is it a pack, is it a force of will type of card? Is it even the crappiest cards that come for free spike up? And I have a very good example of this card called Alistar Rider from Code Snap. When Eldritch Evolution came out, people said, oh, this is the best combo ever because you just have to play your Alistar Rider and then you can Eldritch Evolution for whatever you wanted. And even that card got over $20. And that's like the crappiest card I've ever seen. So as long as the card reads free, no mana cost, or 
F-R-E-E, I cannot specify that enough, then that is something that you have to look at mechanically because at some point in time, someone will try to break it. One of the worst cards when I was playing was Dream Halls, and that card is so pricey now and it's an EDA staple. But back when I was playing, like, it didn't make any sense. I was like, okay, so why would you want to play this card again? But now, any card like that will be breakable in a format or people will try to break it and then they'll fail. So Alistar Rider, I mean, an Eldritch Evolution it turned out to be a terrible combo, but guess what? It it spiked up in price enough that if you had a bunch of them, you could have sold them for a healthy, healthy profit. Anyway, bye guys. Mm -hmm.